I start this farm project uh, because of uh, in Nepal. Uh, when uh, Nepali is uh, born from the mother, they know how to farm. We already have that kind of skill, and why not same skill we develop? And uh, that skill going be, my understanding is sustainable. Lots of women here, uh, they are victims of so many regions domestic and legal, so many ways they don't have right. And my past life, I'm also one victim uh, because of my father doesn't want me because of I'm daughter. And uh, maybe 16 years later, he's searching some boy and give me away. And that man or boy start me torture. And why you don't bring the dowry? And, and same things, same torture, my children, I have two children, they also get that similar, same kinds of torture from him. And I decide the one day, I don't want this torture anymore. I want to leave this man and do something different. For, if, if we take the, that children responsibility of sending the school for education like that, and women stay the hour like a farm, and they community farm and they start the work. And I like the more people and on understanding the people problem and solving the problem. Not just looking, watching, observation. I don't like that part, I hate. Lots of people do the same things, observation. Observation not help the people's life, not change the people's life. So this, this project, this farm project for abused women was something that my wife had been advocating for for years. And I'd had to keep telling her, we simply don't have the money to do it because we're a small nonprofit organization. And it's a big financial commitment. And then I got this email from Steli School saying, we'd like to come to Nepal and do some projects with you and give us some ideas about what, you know, what we could possibly do there. And I shot back a few what I'll call more typical uh, volunteer projects. And the response came back that, yeah, those are kind of you know, also ran, been there, done that kind of project. Dream bigger. And so I reached on the back shelf and I picked up the farm project. And I thought, wow, I wonder if this is too big. But I'll, you know, I'll put it out there and see what happens. And sure enough, uh, Tim Storm from Steli School read my proposal on that and said, exactly what we want to do. And uh, Sunita and I were elated that somebody was finally interested in this project. We're, we were able to buy the first farm. Um, from the donated money from Steli School, paid for the entire first farm, and that launched the, the project. At that farm project is started by the Steli School. They are from the Canada. I have a same dream, and they have a same dream, how to sustainable women and children's lives. We match each other. And last year we started this program, and Steli is if they don't help me, I cannot start this project.